right, today I wanted to show you how you use your TENS unit. And this type of TENS unit is going to be what we call an analog TENS unit. Difference between an analog TENS unit and a digital TENS unit. This is a digital TENS unit. But with a digital TENS unit, you have a screen and you press little buttons and you see different types of settings, rate, pulse width, changes on the front. Now, for a lot of people, they don't like this. They don't like to press buttons. Furthermore, it's hard to see the screen and it gets a little bit more complicated for some people by using what we call a digital unit. What is used often is what is called an analog TENS unit. Now I'm just showing you a couple of analog TENS units. Here's another one. But they're basically all the same. What you basically do with any analog unit is you have a cable, remembering that what your cable is used for is to conduct electricity from the unit to the electrodes. You plug your cable into the side or wherever it has. Sometimes it has the top. Once you get your cable or cables, you actually have two cables that come, then you will have an electrode system. And all an electrode is, and we have another video on electrode placement telling you or explaining to you how you use, where you put electrodes so you don't have pain. In this particular, I'm going to open some electrodes. I would take the end of my cable and I would plug it into an electrode. Put one here and one here. Now, let me explain to you, because this gets confusing for people, justifiably so. They see these cables that have black and red. The reason for black and red is really nothing. It is merely when electricity comes out of a place, which would be one of the electrodes, it's got to go somewhere else. It goes to the other electrode. Simply, the area between the two electrodes is where the electricity goes. But it really doesn't matter. It doesn't go necessarily from black to red or red to black. That's not the way it works. This is just some color coding started way back in the 70s, 1970s, and it has continued to this day and many times it causes confusion. Uh, but that's just why that is. Don't let it confuse you. You would take your electrodes off and you would put them where you have the pain. And again, look at our other video on electrode placement. But what happens with an analog unit is that basically you have at the top some buttons for one channel, which is where one set of electrodes are, or for the other channel, which is where the other set of electrodes are. You turn it on at the top. It's called amplitude. It's the power. Turn it on, adjust it to where it feels okay. And what I'm, what I'm going to say feels okay, what I'm really saying is that you are, your pain has been subdued. It's not as bad as it was. Then you adjust the other channel. And the benefit of an analog, like this is our 10, uh, 250, and we have plenty of these types of units. You have some controls inside the unit. And if you want to change something, the pulse width the rate, you just take your fingers and turn it. Like a button, that's all it is. An analog is button oriented. Button, instead of pressing and watching a screen change. And then you have a little lever here in the middle you can adjust. It's called burst, what we call normal, and what we call modulate. That's pretty generic on all analog units as well as digital units. And we could, we'll tell you later in other videos about some of the different features you can use. But the difference between a digital unit, which is this one, and an analog unit is you set your settings by hand, turning. This one you have to use buttons and you have to watch your screen to see what's going on. And a lot of people prefer to turn a button and control it that way. Most people, once they start using their analog unit, all they really want to do is turn it on. That feels good. Wear it and wear it for the rest of the day or through the night if they uh, have pain at night, just go to sleep with it on. That's okay. But I just wanted you to see, this is how do you use a TENS unit. This is the TENS 250. However, there are many different types of units, but they're basically two ways. They're an analog or they're digital. And it's pretty much everything's the same as far as width, rate, frequency. 
Hope this makes it a little bit easier. Be sure to look at our electrode placement video because that'll give you a lot more information for the specifics of what you're trying to do to help yourself, be it with the TENS unit, be it with an interferential infrared unit, whichever, that will help you on electrode placement. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.